Welcome to a new demo about building a location tracker device using lightweight M2M. My name is Lawrence and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use the Thingy91, the Nordic development platform, in combination with AV Systems services to build a tracking application. So how does it work? On the Thingy91, we're gonna install, we're gonna run the lightweight M2M client called NJ. And this NJ connects to Coyote IoT DM, device management, which is the lightweight M2M server managed by AV System. And we are connecting the Coyote IoT DM with NRF Cloud Locator, and we are using NRF Cloud to um, retrieve location based on cell tower IDs um, as well as assisted GPS which makes it faster to get GPS fixes using the NRF9160 module. So to get started uh, let's open up your terminal and I'm using the Zephyr SDK uh, and it requires some dependencies to use this SDK so if you haven't install it um, yet then I know, have a look at the links below this video and make sure that all of the prerequisites are installed. To get started I uh, created a local directory which is called AV system and within this AV system directory we gonna we are going to clone a github repository which is called the NJ Zephyr client. So once that's done, I need to process a few commands um, to properly set up WEST, which is the um, program to compile the code base to um, make it run on the Thingy91. And this might take a few seconds as well. Well, the beauty is now we have um, installed a uh, subfolder and this subfolder is called NJ Zephyr client and in this um, directory there is another folder which is called demo and this is the demo application that we are going to use so we're gonna we are going to use West to build a new configuration and we are using the flag menu menu config to um, open up the configuration window so it might take a few seconds and then this screen appears. So we open up the NJ Zephyr client uh, folder and to start with we're going to enable manual requests for cell based location. So pressing enter to enable this feature and I'm going to double check if the GPS features are configured correctly. Um, so open this folder and make sure that the, the this box is checked um, saying enable a GPS using Nordic location services over lightweight M2M. Um, so this seems to be good so we press escape and uh, the key Y to save the configuration and the next step is to mm, um, run West build to create the new binary that we can flash to the thingy 91 device. In the meantime, while this is being built, I am opening up the NRF Connect for Desktop, which is the tool set provided by Nordic to easily manage your devices. Um, so I'm going to use the programmer to flash the application that we just built to the device. And that will look something like this. So going back to the terminal, so if all was built correctly then now you can find um, the the folder built so we can open it up and within this build folder there is the directory Zephyr and if you open up this Zephyr folder then at some point we should see the app signed.hex and this is the file that we need to flash to the device in order to upload the NJ client. So I am going to connect the, um, the Thingy91 over USB 
Um, and I'm going to enable the MCU boot, and which means that I need to press this middle, middle button, and while doing so, I'm turning the device on. And yes, there we have it. Back to that folder, I'm now searching for the um, hex file app underscore signed, and I'm dragging this into the programmer. Then I click that button right, and it should take, give or take, a minute or so to flash the firmware onto the device. So after the firmware has been flashed to the Thingy91, we can close this window as well as the programmer screen. Now we reboot the device, so I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to turn it on again and I'm going back to my terminal screen. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to connect directly to the thingy 91 to define the final configurations. So I will read all of the USB um, devices that are connected to my laptop. Um, and once I know that, I'm using Minicom to directly connect to this serial USB port. So you might see two different USB modems. Um, it's usually the one with the lowest number, but if that doesn't work, then you can try the other. Um, so let's see, all right, well, this, this seems to work. Um, there are several commands that you can use, and if you press tab, then I know provides you with the overview. And to start the configuration, I first need to stop the NJ client because it's always starting automatically. So it might take a few minutes. So once that's done, we start configuring the endpoint. So we start with giving it a name. And you can think of any name you like, but in this case, I'm mean, calling it a tracking device. Same is same you need to do for the PSK, which is the preset key or the password. So again, you can also use any uh, any password you like. So I know this for this demo, I'm just using a simple password tracking one two three. And once that has been set, you can start the NJ client. While the client is starting, I am adding a new device to the Coyote IoT device management platform. So I'm doing that by clicking the green button at device manually and selecting the option via the management server. So make sure that you enter the same credentials as you on um, the same credentials as you added to the device. Um, without typos and then you can add the device or well, the device has been added to the platform so you can wait for the device to connect but you can also completely directly um, go through the wizard and actually what you can see here it directly shows the green button meaning that the device has been registered to the platform directly so nice work um, the device seems to be working um, and yet yeah, the next um, step is to enable the NRF cloud um, integration. So um, in order to do so, we are um, going back to the main screen and we click the button integrations. And from there we click on location services. And here we need to connect the NRF Cloud Evaluation Token. And you can retrieve that by going to the website nrfcloud.com. You can create a free account there. And you can retrieve the evaluation token by going to the menu in the top right corner and select Team. And from here you can uh, copy the uh, evaluation token and we are basing that again in the Coyote IoT device management platform. 
So there's one more thing that we are going to do, and that's to actively get the assisted GPS uh, data. Again, open up the cellular bridge with the device, and we are um, entering the commands NJ NLS a GPS request. We click enter, and here you can find that you can see that. Um, the AGPS data is processed, which is basically the Almanac file, which makes it easier for the device to, um, to get a GPS fix. And you might see now that the device is deregistered. Uh, don't worry about that, because that usually is because the um, modules that have both the integrated cellular connection as well as an uh, integrated GPS part, don't are not able to connect over um, cellular while getting a GPS fix. So in order to get this GPS location, it needs to dis disable the LTE um, connection. And once the GPS has been retrieved, then it starts sending that GPS data. So while we're waiting for the device to get a fix, we can already start defining the intervals on when the data needs to send or when the device needs to send data and the beauty about coyote is that while the device registered all of these objects the so-called objects which are part of the data model that we use when with this lightweight m2m standard already added to the coyote iot device um, platform so if you go to object six which uh, defines the location we can define specific observations and here we can set on how frequent we want the um, the device to send its location so let's say for this demo we want um, at least every 15 minutes to get an update but not more than every five minutes so we can set that accordingly we click save and of course, you could do the same thing for the different objects like temperature, humidity, accelerometer, barometer, etc. But for this demo, I'm keeping it to the location based services. So it may take a little bit of time, but eventually the location data is being shown in Coyote. If you go to the overview page and you might need to click the refresh button and if the location has been derived, so if the device retrieved a cell based location or location based on GPS data, then you will find the latest details um, in the overview page. So here you can find the longitude, the latitude and altitude uh, being displayed here. And if you go to the data model, you can find further details about all of the data that's being sent from the device. So if you go to object six, um, you can find all the details of the location data. And if you're observing additional resources like temperature or humidity, then you can also find all the values being displayed here. So thank you so much for listening. In this demo, demo I demonstrated how to use the Thingy 91, how to run the lightweight M M2M client NJ on that device and connected to the server Coyote. And using the NRF Cloud location services, we could quickly derive a location and display that in the cloud. So stay tuned because in one of the next videos, we're gonna move or we're gonna continue this demonstration and actually start using the data that appear in this dashboard. We continue this demonstration and we start integrating data with Azure IoT Hub and use the stream analytics jobs within Azure to eventually showcase and visualize the location data in Power BI. And it could look something like this, where we also demonstrate several telemetry data points. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again shortly.